a left-wing television show. Tony Abbott. <laughs> to my left, we have cultural activist and weekly blogger, Aurora Tree Blossom. Thank you for having me. Um, before we get started, I just... I have so much white guilt, and I just want to apologise again. I accept your apology, but you need to keep apologising. Well, because we're on a quick time frame here, I would just like to bring up that the fiscal policy in Australia has changed drastically over the past couple of days, and it's very interesting if we discuss this. Guys, guys, let's be respectful. Let's at least hear him out. Jeff, what is your take on the current state of the economy? Well, it's a very good question, because at the moment we're at a crossroads. Yeah, well, you're wrong! Don't think that I am because I'm just focusing Human on Human rights are the economy. Look at statistical data. Though. Look, you've had enough time to speak, Jeff. We did arts degrees and understand ironic sarcasm. Therefore, we're much more qualified to speak about the economy than you. This is not really an exercise in free speech. Well, if you want to hear my free speech, my free speech is that you're a misogynist, racist idiot. Yes, that'll go viral. Tweet that. What's a tweet? You wouldn't know, would you, Grandpa? You may have a fancy schmancy PhD in economics, but what do you know about the real world? You haven't taken a humanitarian gap year in France. Have you even taken acid? Legalize it. Honestly, acid hasn't killed anyone. Racism kills Jeff. I'd like to interject because a good friend of mine passed away in university as a result of the exact substance that you're... You can't handle our truth. We are the most vocal members of society, and we're right and you're wrong. And by right, we mean far left. If I can just say that every time I've been on this show, I've just been interrupted and interjected every moment that I've ever tried to speak. Shh. You've had centuries to say what you want. Now, it's our turn. Now, even when there is a terrorist attack, have you noticed that the subject instantly turns to... Right, good go. Sorry you need subtitles for junkie journalists. They slur their words so much that even Osama Bin Laden's thinking, fucking hip status, man. And now anything else anyone ever says is Chechudome, homophobia, transphobia, overlusome, basically every ism left in the dictionary. That lamp is phallic, sexist. That dog shit is brown, racist. That ATM is not a gay TM, homophobic. Story time, where we find out that the biggest victim in the world is, no, it's not Jarvan Rhinos, it's me. <laughs> a woman. <laughs> in the developed world. <laughs> Possibly edged out by my friend who I went to an elite private school with, who's a quarter Aboriginal and is always referring to herself as part of the Gadigal people. <laughs> We're the real Thelma and Louise. Carl Stefanovic literally just said tranny. First person's coming through long before you came, long after you leave. I don't have to pay for Uber Eats, it's reparations. Then later, get ready for an hour and a half of forced... <laughs> With the comedy special, women can be funny too. In fact, we're funnier than men, okay? You got that? I don't hate men. Men hate me. Fucking men. Sounds hilarious. Get money, keep checking. Edge of Tomorrow was a non-stop futuristic thrill ride, but it didn't mention Aboriginals once. That's old. Zero stars. Definitely not a forward thinking, forward thinking movie. Dave Chappelle just released a new stand-up special and you would never guess, but hipster click sites found it problematic. And you see it constantly. Obviously you're gonna get a bunch of comments on this are just being like, that there's important things about race and gender. No, there's not. Okay? The, the problems that we have here when it comes to identity, when it comes to gender, when it comes to homosexuality, all these things, they're fucking minor. We're the party of social justice. You can play this build with a bunch of SJW cucks because the media you consume is telling you the labor is filled with a bunch of SJW cucks. <laughs> 